Deb Margolin is the playwright. She was in the hospital about to go um, in for some very serious surgery, and she was under anesthesia under sodium pentothal, which is essentially the truth serum, um, but it's supposed to knock you out. But she um, equated anesthesia and going under with death, with the possibility of death. So her um, instinct for life kept her awake and talking for about 12 minutes uh, after the point at which she was supposed to be knocked out. And um, she, after the surgery, she, the doctors alluded to the fact that she talked for 12 minutes, but, um, but they wouldn't tell her what she'd said. They were embarrassed by what she had said, um, but they did tell her that George Bush came up and that um, when they said, you won't remember any of this tomorrow, she said, oh yes, I will. I will remember the spirit and texture of this conversation. So, uh, and she does remember a fair amount of what she said, but the conceit of the piece is that she doesn't. So uh, after an introduction where this character draws the audience in and makes a connection with them, the piece is five uh, vignettes about what she might have said during those 12 minutes. And it's a really nice mix. I mean, it's really funny, very moving, um, very beautiful. There are stories from her childhood and her rants on the current political situation and, um, and sort of everything in between. And it's um, an interesting challenge. It was an interesting challenge for Janine and I to find our way through Deb's um, kind of meandering thought process because it's very specific to her what she um, what she connects, what images bring up other images, and what thoughts bring up other thoughts. So throughout, even in the comedy or in the whatever, there are these moments of deep seriousness. And I think certain actresses might play it with more seriousness than Janine does, but there is, um, I think, a great pathos to Janine's humor. Um, and we've tried to make her look very vulnerable with the slip she wears, and then when she puts on the Johnnies and the little blue hat and the blue shoes, she looks very small. You know, she's small anyway, and um, I think that plays to the, to the pathos of even the comedy, that she's just this little kind of woman fighting off these big men with knives, and she has essentially no power because a patient doesn't really have a lot of power in that relationship, um, and she's desperately trying to get some kind of human connection with the people who are going to cut her open so that they know how um, important she is and they can do their best to bring her back after the surgery.